Hello, my Scorpios. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, so um, you know the deal. It's a general reading. Take what resonates, please. Okay. And if you would like to book a personal reading for more clarity on your situation, then the link to my website is in the description box below. All right, so in the pre-shuffle, I was picking up. I don't know how you're feeling right now. But you are going to be, I keep wanting to say, getting your groove back. You're going to be feeling more vibrant. You look pretty good here. Some of you may get a haircut. Um, feisty energy, though. Like, you are willing. Like, I don't think you're taking much-ish, you know? Especially from immature people or... I'm seeing masculine energy, but let's just say anyone that wants to play games, okay? I, a lot of you could be single or just re really independent. There could be something growing for you as well in regards to finances or like a bonus or a payback or back pay or something like that coming in. It's like you made a good choice in the past. You could be dealing with a fire sign, but I am sensing that like you're taking on this very queen of wands energy here and she is not, this, this queen knows what she's worth. She knows she's attractive. She's a little bit witchy, you know, sometimes. Um, a lot of men can't handle her though. So whether or not you're a male or female, that that king of wands, queen of wands, there can be kind of quick at the mouth. A lot of people are drawn to you, but not everybody can handle you, you know? You're just so strong, you know? You know, you know. <laughs> okay. Um... There could be a Taurus that makes you defensive, or if this isn't a Taurus, this would be just a very stubborn person that is not willing to compromise. They just don't seem to do it. They're very set in their ways, this individual. They could irritate you a little bit, could be a father figure, um, family member, partner of your own, boss, doesn't matter. But I do, I am sensing that, like somebody just kind of irritates you. <laughs> ah. They seem willing to challenge the Queen of Wands. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and see what's going on for Scorpio. But I do see kind of uh, money coming in for you or something. And I want to say it's in a chunk because it like accumulated over time or something delayed it. Could be a bonus if I didn't say bonus. I don't know, but this would be coming up. You haven't gotten it yet. A lot of this energy I think is predictive. All right, let's see. What's going on for my Scorpios, please, universe? Give me Scorpios. Ah, well, the death card. Thanks for showing up. Way to represent nice and strong. So change, endings. Um, again, you're not going to tolerate anything you can't trust. I see you leaving that in the past. You're killing it. No way. But I also feel like something could be coming to your life. There could be a change. We'll see what comes up. But I am seeing like you may not need to be so defensive in the future. I, I feel like you've had to defend yourself on this long journey. But you're kind of moving away from tolerating that is what I'm feeling like. So um, what's going on for Scorpio, please? Oh, for Scorpio, please. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, for some of you... This won't resonate for everybody, but I caution, I, I'm seeing somebody spying here. And this could be on so 
social media, but I'm almost feeling like somebody's spying on you either at your house or when you're hanging out with someone else. So you wouldn't you you wouldn't see this person because they're far away. They would be watching you from like really far away. Okay. This could be because they know they can't get too close to you. You're coming very strong. I just feel like you're not tolerating the ish. Somebody could be standing back and like Still wanting to see you, wanting to see what you're doing, um, but knowing that you're, you know, <laughs> they're coming up as a page and you're coming up as the death card, okay? They cannot, <laughs> you will, mm -mm. you know, it's just, so they got to kind of stay back. Now that won't resonate for all of you again, but I, somebody is watching though. Somebody's watching a connection or a home. All right, I also feel as if there could have been a rest, a time out where, or taking a break from a soulmate where there could have been a lot of confusion and I, I just feel like, it's almost like you guys couldn't understand each other. You couldn't see it the same way or couldn't see things, but I see you both thinking about this here. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or another water sign. I do have a lot of water here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, well, I kind of feel like you're not really dealing with anyone at the moment. You, you, <laughs> again, not the most approachable energy that you have going on, but I feel like you're just time to level up for you so you can't deal with the you know so I don't judge you I'm just saying it's I feel like people are kind of staying at, at a distance from you but you could be either waiting to reconcile or somebody's kind of waiting to reconcile with you I do see you reuniting with somebody but I don't know let's see what is this three of cups here for Scorpio hmm somebody could be waiting to reconcile with the other person and somebody else is like sneaking off to hang out with someone else so however that applies I'm almost feeling like another person's waiting on you and you're like hanging out with new people or like someone else. Let's see, what is the Seven of Swords for Scorpio? But I mean, I feel like you're single here, so could we deal with a Cancer? Earth sign, perhaps. There could be somebody that just shows up at your house as well. That's possible too. I am seeing a lot of like sneakiness going on around the outside the house. Somebody could drive by to see if your car is there. I mean, I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, because I kind of sense this energy of like... You're just going to keep moving forward. If that means moving on or whatever you have to do, it's like you just know you have to keep moving forward. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like you're kind of working on yourself here. Final cards for Scorpio. This is... Yeah, I'm just seeing positive movement forward. Just keep on going forward is sort of all that you're... It's like having hope in tomorrow because your past, 
you don't like how something turned out in the past. So I just feel like you're you're seeking passionate fulfillment after many obstacles, after, yeah, passion ignited. And there is something coming for you. There is something coming that will that you will love doing yourself. This could be a career, uh, an adventure of yours, but you're going to love this. But I also feel like there is another person that has passion for you. I don't know if you're going to wait for that, though. Uh, final card for Scorpio. Because you don't want any more sneakiness. You really are taking a strong energy of doing what you have to do. You want lightness. You want happiness. And they're saying that your power is in your intuition. You already know kind of the steps that you should take here. You already know the truth about a lot of things. There's a door here waiting for you. It's just been waiting. It's been there. And you may kind of sense it, but I see you being willing to finally go forward towards it. You're just coming across very sturdy, very stable, and um, going for what it is that you want. So, you know, anybody that comes at you cannot come at you with the Seven of Swords energy because you're not, you're just not going to deal with it. And actually, they could regret it because you're quite feisty here. I feel a lot of feisty. But go you, Scorpio. All right. So, um, yeah, I would just... It looks like you're doing what you have to do. You're moving in the right direction, following your passion, following your intuition. You already know the way. That's what they want to say. Okay? Bye-bye. Um,